Ladies and gentlemen, the act you're about to see needs no introduction, but he insisted that I pre-record this for him. You may have seen him on America's Got Talent, Australia's Got Talent, or in the parking lot. Please welcome to the stage the daredevil contortionist himself, Alec Sam, the human knot. Thank you very much for that incredibly spontaneous warm welcome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, contortion is a very uh, ancient art. It takes concentration and control. So give me a moment while I get into the zone. Let's see how much noise you can make for the first trick. Come on, man, come on. Yeah, take a picture, lady. I know what some of you are thinking. The answer is yes. You can laugh, but kids don't get it. Here we go, second flexibility trick. I'm going to do this one balancing on my hands on the stage. If that fails, I'll do it balancing on my face on the stage. Here we go. Everyone this time, come on. <laughs> I can't breathe. Right, here we go, third flexibility trick. I'm going to do contortion push-ups. I do these every day. That's why I'm so enormous. Thanks for laughing. Try this trick when you get home. It's a great way to stay in shape. If this is the shape you want. Here we go. Push-ups. Come on, Baltimore. Yeah. Here's my girlfriend's favorite trick. You know, I used to have a girlfriend who was a contortionist, but we broke up because she was seeing someone behind my back. These are the good jokes, people. I don't know what to tell you. You guys want more? Say yeah. yeah. Right, I'm gonna hold my hands behind my back. I'm gonna bring them up over my head all the way to the front without letting go. Give me a big yell if you want to see it. Shit, all right, I'll do it. I call this trick the rubber arms. Watch closely. Please, children, don't try this until you get home. Here we go, over the top. Don't forget to buy my workout video. It's a boy. When I get to the end, I want to hear every person. Right. I'm going to attempt the impossible. I'm going to try and fit my entire body, head to toe. 300 pounds through this squash racket. Hands up if you think I can do it. Thanks for the support. Hands up if you don't think I can do it. Hands up if you don't give a damn if I can do it or not. Just do the trick, skinny man. Can you take the music down just a little bit? Folks, first I'm gonna fit through here. And after that, I'm going to fit through here. I can actually poke my head through there, watch. If you want to enjoy these jokes, lower your standards. <laughs> now when I go through the racket, I have to take off my shirt. 
So ladies, prepare yourselves to be mildly disappointed. I've been going to the gym three times a week for almost a week now. How you doing, sir? Ah, at least he's going to the bathroom, he's getting lucky. <laughs> Here we go. One squash racket. How you doing? You're late. One squash racket, one skinny Aussie. I want to show you how small this racket is compared to a tennis racket. It's only eight inches. Eight inches, in this case, is very small. Insert your own joke, lady. Here we go. Squash racket. Here we go. I'm kidding. I start from the top. Still got a Snapchat ready. Oh my god, butt first. I never go butt first. Inside joke. This moment in the show is brought to you by Old Spice. <laughs> I bet when you woke up today, this is the last thing you thought you'd see. It gets better. Get ready to clap and cheer. I'll tell you when. Funniest thing about this trick, I can't really do it. All right, for my next trick, I'll, I'll do it. Watch. This is where it gets even more difficult. Hello over there. Have you ever wondered why people watch from the front? Okay. So you can take your parachute off. You've landed. I don't know why, but he just gave me the finger for no reason at all. I don't know if he was telling me his IQ or the size of his dick. You know I do this for a living, right? Here we go. Good idea. Get your nipples pierced. Don't worry. I know what to do. One at a time. Hello, sir. Do you feel a bit overdressed at the tattoo convention? Guy needs a mohawk or something. Oh. <laughs> there you go, number two. You better clap after this. No more clapping like you're at the opera. If you clap like you're watching a good show, I'll give you a good show. You're my inspiration. Just this side. Just this side. Just this man. Alright, you'll do. You guys want more? Say yeah. Yeah! I'm halfway through the squash racket. I also have this tennis racket, and I can fit through this one at the same time, sideways. Passing my body from right to left. You guys want to see it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hurt yourself. <laughs> Alright, first I need to move the handle to the other side. Watch this. Hello. I'm single and very flexible. You know. Here we go. Alright, watch this. Side to side. Take your hands out of your pockets before you clap. I don't want you to damage your didgeridoo. Here we go. I can 
see right up my shorts. Hold on. Okay, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but I still have to put this arm through. Up. You know, this is actually one of my favorite tricks because it reminds me of the day I was born. I'm going to try and pop my shoulder through. If the shoulder goes through, everyone make a lot of noise because it really, really hurts. I'm the karate kid. <laughs> now two rackets. This might be enough for you, but it's not enough for me. This trick would not be complete unless I could fit through a toilet seat. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Why? I don't know why, but I will say this. Kids, it's a good idea to go to college. There's not many good jobs like this left. I call this trick hungover. Ugh. I'll be honest folks, this is much easier since I took the seat off the toilet. I don't know what it takes to get a big round of applause in Baltimore. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's the end of the show. Good night. <laughs> All right, I'll try my best. How you doing? How'd it go in there? Success? Oh, that's good. Here we go. This one went on this way. It comes off this way. Let's call it number two. Can I deflate my lungs? <clears throat> oh yeah. I've got an idea. Quick impression. Buffalo Bill, Silence of the Lambs. I've even got the music. Hold on. Check it out, ladies. I'm finished with the toilet and I'm putting the seat down. <laughs> Alright, this is the hardest bit. I have to fit my butt through the racket. This can be dangerous. Because sometimes I take off the racket. And sometimes I take off the shorts. Thank you, sir. I'm going to try and avoid that the only way I know how. Hey, where the hell are you going? I didn't want to leave when you got here. I think one of the stores over there sells attention spans. <laughs> if you want to go buy two of those. Okay. Look, I've got an idea. You guys are a great crowd, and I'm going to give you a great show. So I'm going to take things to the next level. I'm going to climb up to the top and do my grand finale in a minute. Can I ask you to hold this for me, sir? Uh, no, this guy. <laughs> Just hold it up really high. And can you hold this one, sir? Hold the balls up really high. I'll be with you in one hour. Okay, one minute. Folks. If I get this thing off, you guys hear the kind of noise, I go up to the top, I do my grand finale with these two instruments here. You guys want to see it? Yeah, it's done! I want to make sure this doesn't play anymore. Here we go. Yeah, get the picture, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? Good, just see you. Come on. 
Yeah. Some people get kind of elbow. <laughs> Let's 
loosen this one a bit? That's good. When I put these in my pocket, Brandy, I want you to throw the balls to me, one at a time, right here. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I'll get it. Oh, good, good one. Number two, number three, number four, last one right there. You deserve a big clap. Can you pick that one up for me now? Franny, I want you to show it to the audience in a sexy way. <laughs> that will have to do. <laughs> Folks, I'm going to finish the show with my best trick, with the chopper and the machetes. Before I do that, it's my second best trick. Five balls, 20 feet high. I know it's not much, but you can't do it. <laughs> Pull this one a little bit. Pull it. Okay. Here we go. Second, last trick. Thank you. <laughs> you know the funny thing? I'm up pretty high, but I'm probably not the highest person in this room. <laughs> Here we go. Second last trick. Five balls, five times the noise. <laughs> of a uh, giraffe. <laughs> You're sick, but I like you. Folks, I'm giving you my whole show. Now I give you my best. Give me your best as well. Come on, Houston.